Hi, and welcome to the podcast where we're all besties because we love all things Bravo, pop culture, and can't stop talking about it. I'm Caitlin Marshall, your host here at Besties by Bravo, where we are in a safe space to share our thoughts. That's my opinion! About the Bravo liberties and celebs we love, hate, and love to hate. So be cool. Don't be all, like, uncool. Because it's all for fun. And there is a possibility that we may hit a nerve. We have been blocked by Lisa Renna on Instagram. <laughs> You guys, Jen Shaw blocked me. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, I guess. Either way, we're all friends here. So thanks for joining me on Besties by Bravo. Hi, Besties. Thanks for joining for what I am going to call basically an emergency podcast. Um, I Listen, there's been so much going on. I just, my head's still spinning, but I am so excited to have this guest on. I'm going to tell you, I would not have the social media following I have. I would not be doing a lot of the stuff I'm doing if it weren't for this person. If you don't already, (laughs) truly, if you don't already know who Tessa Scott is, you should. Because she is your favorite ex-girlfriend. How could you forget her? That is her social media handle on Instagram, at your favorite ex-GF. She is also, I believe it's who is Tessa Scott on Instagram and TikTok. She has very large platforms on both. And Tessa is very much a knowledgeable Bravo fan. And I am so excited to bring you on, Tessa. Thank you so much, Katie Kate. I am so excited to be here. I've wanted to rap with you about all the Bravo tea for so long. And I don't think we could have gotten a better topic for for our first podcast together. (laughs) So I'm excited. It is wild as hell. I mean, you guys, I I know y'all, you're not living under a rock. Even if you are, Guess what? We're we're gonna uncover that rock for you now. I'm still dealing with it. Tom Sandoval. I'm still coping. Yeah. I, I just I still can't get over it. Sand Devil. Well, yeah. and S- Sand Devil. Yes, that's what we're gonna call him now. I like that. See, y'all, she's quick, <laughs> quicker than me. She's been on a cruise all week, um, bitch, with her mom and enjoying. And look what happened. Sunshine. I go away for one week, and I come back, and I'm like, Ariana, her account's they- gone. Yes, so. yes, you guys. Tessa's not allowed to leave. I can't go anywhere. anywhere. Anymore. I, I can't that's go just, anywhere. No, you can't. <laughs> so that's why this has been a lot of this is going to be news to her because I, you know, as I was going back and forth with her saying, you know, do you want me to share the document where I'm creating this whole entire timeline like a complete stalker almost? I love it. And I said, or do you want me to surprise a bitch? And she said, let's, let's surprise, surprise a bitch. Me. Yeah. So drop it. Okay, I can't friends. wait. Um, so. I think we're, I'm going to refer to him as Sand Devil the rest of the um, episode because I really liked that. Um, and Rachel. So if you didn't already know, you ra- oh my God. Okay. Yeah. We're going to inform you of that too. That is, oh, it's all so good and so bad at the same time. Um, okay. So if you didn't already know, Sand Devil and Raquel Levis um, apparently have been having a months long affair. Mm. Unbeknownst mm. to our queen, Ariana. Mm. And I I still have goosebumps when I say it. I know uh, I should not be so invested, but you guys, this is wrong. And I am It feels so personal. <laughs> it feels so personal. Like when it was, you know, is Raquel making out with Tom Schwartz? I said, you guys, she's recently single. You know, she's living her best life. She's not that great of friends with Katie. And Schwartz is hot. Right. Sand Devil was not single. This is completely different. And I was rooting for you, Raquel. He's practically married. Nine years. They're practically married. I felt like I was in that relationship. I mean, I'm pretty sure we were. were. We? It's, I mean, listen, it's, we all are. Yeah. We are all so invested. We are. We are Ariana at this point. And you know what? In California, apparently common law is a thing. So it should probably be a common law marriage. I'm just saying I'm not a, an Ariana, attorney. get some money out of this. Get but... some money out of this. <clears throat> Babe, if you can. Please. I really, yeah. I really hope he didn't do what Schwartz did, which was take a second mortgage out on the home. Um, oh, God. You know what? <laughs> this season is wild. You know, when they all had babies, I was like, there's no way this show is getting interesting again. Hats off. Something happens when you have a baby. 
You you like you think you I, I don't know. It's almost like some people they either are like, okay, this is me. I'm settling into life. And I'm gonna chill. And other people, it's like I th no. I thought they were. I was like, they're grown now. We're not dealing with any of the messiness because they're grown. They're parents, mm -hmm. right? You brought a child into this world. You were responsible yeah. for a human. Yeah, honestly, honestly, I'm glad. I'm so I'm, I, I'm, I'm glad um, for the sake of the show, but not this specific situation. This one very much hurts me. This one hurts a yeah. lot. Which is why I'm having you on, because I know you, you have, like me, been a Vanderpump watcher for Since a very long time. Since day one. And... You know what, y'all? This is what happens when you let a fan on the show and start dating them, okay? We saw what happened with Brittany and Jax. Now this is what happens with, I'm sorry, we're going to call her Rachel because Tessa sent me, <laughs> which sent me. Um, someone like posted on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll let you tell, tell what so you So basically, um, thanks to TikTok, um, you know, someone mm -hmm. uh, who happens to be Raquel's former high school classmate revealed her high school yearbook photo and under that photo her name is Rachel Rachel Levis Rachel 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 hmm. <laughs> this this feels very oh, Hillary Hilaria it, it feels very that <gasps> yes um, it does but I'm not, uh -huh. I'm not even mad at her. Like, see, I, I just always want to, I always want to defend Raquel. That was, that's my instinct, you know, because I'm all about a re mm -hmm. reinvention. Mm -hmm. You know, I love a good personal rebrand. Hey. Um, and a good hope. Yes. Base. And I just, I cannot, I cannot defend her on this one. No, no. And I, you know what? Because I, I. I, and I think it's because I have, like, my own personal empathy, and I have been a Katie fan for a very long time, and everyone's always like, really, Caitlin? You're a Katie fan? I'm like, yeah, you know what? I just, I gotta own it. I yeah. gotta own who I am at yeah. this point in my life. And yes, I'm a Katie fan. Oh, no. And so I was like, I think Raquel's being a shit. And so <clears throat> before that, though, I was a Raquel fan as well. And that's the thing is it's like, you know, I was like, let her... Look, every girl, especially after like that big relationship breakup, she spent most of her twenties with James. So yeah, go have your hoe face. You need it. Like you actually need it to grow as a person. <laughs> like I'm not shaming it. At we all. love a good hoe no face. No problem with it. Could she, what? Yeah, but why dip into that tiny pool? That's like a kiddie pool that's got shit and pee it's in it. Why? Why are you in that? Yeah, pool? I don't. I it's don't gross. understand it. Um, as you posted on your story, um, Ariana's brother responded to the situation basically dragging everyone involved and uh <laughs> yeah he basically just says you know that Ra raquel is a cloud chaser and she always has been and well once again i don't want to defend her but mm -hmm. i love a good cloud chasing can i can't fault someone for chasing the clout you know what i mean get your bag however you can no um this is not the way to do it this is not the way this is not a good look no. Um, and I don't know what she was thinking. And what, and no. what really hurts me is I feel like we all first felt about Raquel the way we felt about Allie now, the way we currently feel about Allie. Yeah. We were just like, so no, true. girl, we've seen, we've seen these girls before. It's not going to work. But, but she really, she really paid her dues. You know, she put in the time. She yeah. took all that heat for the puppy shower, all of the heat, and she grew oh from God. it. She grew from it. She said, I'm going to make these girls who make fun of me my besties. And then I'm going to sleep with their husbands. Not just their, their husbands. Friends. So it's just, it's just been a real roller coaster <sighs> ride because I, I really grew very fond of her. Like when I say I was rooting for her, I just wanted yeah. to see the best for her. And God damn it. This might be it. This might be it. Oh no. What have I done? You know, <laughs> it's all your fault. You know, I, I think that puppy shower was her villain origin story. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's where it started. Oh, my God. And we didn't see That's it. That's what happens when you get a golden doodle. We didn't doodle. see it. And you know why? Because everybody was like, girl, a puppy shower? A puppy shower? And I immediately was like, I don't like this mean girl situation. I'm going to defend her. But honestly, they all had a point. Now I see where now. Yeah. She, yeah. I, I just see, see everything so differently. You know, because, 
so differently. Because I'm going to hit y'all with this timeline. She Tess is literally drinking tea hot. that is so piping hot, and it just could not be more perfect. It is so hot. actually hot. So I'm going to hit y'all with some of this Please. timeline. And if you saw this Google Doc, I'm it's reading ridiculous. it right now. I feel like an insane person. So here's the timeline, as mm -hmm. I best know. Right, filming for Vanderpump Rules began June, early July of 2022. So in July of 2022, that's when Sheena is like pushing the storyline for Raquel to go ahead and have her little dalliance with Schwartz. Like, oh my god, you guys will be like so cute, right? You wanted so a storyline. You wanted a storyline, and absolutely. Yeah. I mean, that's I. Listen, I don't have a problem with. You need a storyline. You got to do it. Like you got to give us something, and you're giving it to okay. us. That's yeah. fine. You know, yeah, that, yeah. so be it. So as we're seeing on the episode that's coming up next week, the girls go to Vegas. And this is when Raquel, or Rachel, makes out with Garcelle's son, Oliver. Now, Oliver it has, like, some sort of trance over all these, like, little blonde white girls on Bravo. Because between Erica and uh, Lala and now Raquel, she's kind of blonde, yeah. which, whatever. I just want to be blonde. I know. There. And I'm like, I didn't mm -hmm. you just last season introduce us to your wife and children, sir? Do, uh -huh. That's why you can't be a success, okay? That's why. This is why. Because yeah. he's just been all over That's, the Bravo I, just, sphere at this point. Yes, Good he has. Him, honestly. And, you know, so, yeah. So, well, you know, and here, here's the thing. Raquel ends up blaming the fact that she believed that Oliver was single on Lala just because Lala was like saying she was into him. Now, I don't know what Lala knew or didn't know. I'm not going to speculate that, but Raquel trying to blame her making out with Oliver on freaking Lala that like, girl, go own your hoe face. You got to own she it. She can't blame be, anybody like, else. Now we literally are. caught you this week uh -uh. asking to make out with people. Literally, all, that's all you wanted to do. Girl, mm -hmm. <laughs> own it. Just be real. Be real with us. We're watching the same I mean, show. We are. We're we're all having the same experience here for the most part. You know, um, so this is like the first, like her making out with Oliver, especially going this whole thing coming up on Instagram and on social media where, you know, apparently Oliver's like, no, we were set my wife and I were separated, blah, blah, blah. You know what? Semantics. But this was Raquel's like first shit stirring moment. And no, hooking up with Peter the Pirate does not count as part of like dipping into this pool because I swear to God, I know he, Peter is, this is I, I don't know. He's like a dog toy in the dog park. He's been chewed on by everybody. I don't, I, this I don't is my it. impression of, of Peter when one of his best friends uh, breaks up with their girlfriend. No. Okay. Hey guys. <laughs> you guys, you guys need a shoulder to cry on. It's creepy. It's creepy. Like those are your friends, aren't they? Aren't those your friends? Aren't those your friends? Are those your friends? <laughs> He's weird. Sorry, go on. It's weird. He's so creepy. I'm sorry. I don't understand He's it. Nice, and though. Raquel, even on Watch What Happens Live, she ends up saying, Oh, Peter was a great pony to hop. On. Her word was pony. She really she said, in fact, Peter I think pony. starting pony. Yes, starting, starting pony. pony. Thank you. Hmm. Not even a starting full grown pirate pony. Horse. And he also has a ponytail. There's just something mm. about that that was so full circle. Mm. Mm. Okay. Now it makes He's more sense. let that ponytail yeah. go. Oh, He's God. really nice, though. If you call um, to then we'll see him. Really nice. Is he? Yes. I, I need to come back come out on. to L.A. soon. I mean, I I was planning on doing a, a Schwartz and Sandy's Tom Tom thing. I'll wait thing, for but... you because I've been waiting for the right time Please. to go up there and with the right person who truly understands Can... what they've gone through to get Schwartz oh, and Sandy's open. And and to do that, we we're gonna make some tank tops that have a picture of Ariana on them, I think, and just go in, and be and just sit. And um, by the way, something that's absolutely hilarious to me, also kind of sad for the investors in this restaurant, but very very funny, is that uh, most of these Bravo fans, if you go on Yelp. They have been leaving Schwartz and Sandy's one star reviews saying, Oh, the, the owners are shit. There is one that I wish, oh my God, I need to post it. I nearly fell out of my chair. Some fan said it was, you know, disgusting and dirty. And even this cockroach crawled across my table and they photoshopped a picture of Raquel, saw, on, a, Raquel, Raquel on a cockroach's body. That was amazing. 
the the Ariana fans <laughs> came out to play, okay? And I love yes. it. Women supporting women. It's just a beautiful thing. Yes. To see. I mean, did you ever think? ever that there would be some strange full circle moment where we end up all rooting for Ariana and Katie Maloney to be opening a feminine sandwich shop and wanting to see the Toms fail. I mean, on what planet? I never Life knew. Life is wild. <laughs> Life is wild. And this just goes to show who knows. I could be butt ass naked on the, on the corner of uh, the 405, you know? Um, living yep. out of a cardboard box next year, <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's actually kind of scary. <laughs> um, but it's wild because they just hate each other. I got real personal. I did got real personal. It, it, that took a different turn. And that's how, that's how I feel about Katie and Ariana and me wanting to see their own spinoff show about something about her. Uh, yes. I, I, I cannot believe this is happening. I, yeah. Okay. So then August of 2022, mm -hmm. Sheena mm -hmm. and Brock's wedding in Mexico. This is when Raquel and Schwartz make out again. Now I'm going to remind you. Wait, hold on. Apparently, in a Go on. no, yeah. no, no, you're you're saying this is after she 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 started with um wait which which Tom has she been with she, she's been with Sandoval before she made out with the Schwartz. That is the alleged timeline we're looking at. So here's what we're all concluding: is this Schwartz thing that. Uh, I'm sorry that Raquel is suddenly interested in something about it was a little off and disingenuine to me. It just seemed weird, but I kind of chalked it up to Raquel being kind of, I don't know, the Bambi eyed bitch. And um, it seems like it might have been a diversion from this affair with Sandoval. Shorts, I can't believe he would partake in something like this. And I don't want to believe it. Are you kidding? He would totally, oh, yeah, Schwartz, he would totally, yes, he God, he totally would. Why do I keep wanting to defend yeah. the villains? I I love a good villain, especially when they're a sweet one. Oh, my, I got to stop oh. that. Because Schwartz knows how to pull one on over us. He really he did does. a good job. He would do anything He's one of those for men. Sandoval. He would do. He's one of those men that makes you think he is such a sweet little puppy dog with those big brown eyes. But Schwartz is still the guy who poured a beer over his girlfriend's head after constantly insulting her and then would also insult his wife. He is also the man that left in Mexico for 24 mm. hours and was at another resort. Mm. 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 May I remind you? Mm. Mm -hmm. And Sheena had the nerve to say in that, in that game on Watch What Happens Live that she thinks Katie was the harder one to be married to. I mean, uh, that's that's what I'm saying, y'all. I think this is where we start seeing. Yes, Katie can be a pain in the ass and for sure. intense. For sure, I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. But we're starting to see what she was putting up with behind closed doors. If he would say and do the things he would do on camera, what do you think he was doing when the camera wasn't there? That's terrifying. That's terrifying. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Oh, yeah. I'm just looking um, at the Tom yeah. so differently. And there's, Sideways. you know, there's already not a lot of men in this world that I care about. So and Tom Tom was same. near and dear. <laughs> yeah, they were near and dear to my heart. And now, once yeah. again, once again, it proves to me you cannot trust a man. Mm -hmm. Nope, you I can't. Cannot you cannot. Trust I mean, sorry, but fuck these men. Fuck. I mean, y'all I y'all know I normally am not having a glass of wine with any recording. This was one of those days. I was like, I am going, I'm going to need to just woo-saw my way through this. I understand. Bit. It was this or Mike's Hard Lemonade, you know? Yeah. I mean, listen, you do you, boo. I, it is Vanderpump Rules. Somehow a Mike's Hard Lemonade goes with Vanderpump Rules to me. Right? Right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I just felt like one before. I was, it yeah. was going to be a pink one, and I was going to put it in a wine glass. Um, I love actually that. I kind of know I want to do that. Anyways, please continue with I this mean, timeline, we, because I... We'll, we'll, we'll end up taking a break here in a few minutes, and you can go do that as much as you like. Grab that cute little pink Mike's Hard Lemonade, because, listen, y'all, oh, Tessa is so on brand with Besties by Bravo and with the Vanderpump rolls like she is pinked out I mean you can't see as much of my pink in my background right here but she listen she knows she loves a good branding opportunity and I do too she she's in it okay so we're gonna you know. go here now 
Mm-hmm. Were we at BravoCon? Oh, yeah. BravoCon. Do y'all remember how Raquel Rachel was running around BravoCon in that oversized, bedazzled Tom Tom sweatshirt? And we all thought it was her being a little, I'm sorry, I'm just going to say it, cover your kids' ears, a little twat to Katie <laughs> um, trying to mock her about Schwartz. Nope. It was about Sandoval. Because guess what? Sandoval, I, I, I just want to say devil, not <laughs> Sandoval. I think I, I, it's, I think it out of my head. Sandoval dressed up yeah. as yeah. Raquel at BravoCon day three for Halloween. And this is, again, while they are having this I, I I can't believe this. I no, I'm like I actually refuse to believe this. I can mm-hmm. I cannot wrap my mind around this. I had to check the date yesterday. I swear to God, like I had to mentally and then actually with my own eyes check the date. I was like, it's not April first, is it? When I saw the TMZ, or I was like, this can't be real. It's fake news. I thought someone photoshopped the goal. It's the goal <laughs> and the audacity. <laughs> It's like wild. I mean, it's, it's it just it gets worse. It keeps getting worse. Well, do you know how many people this week before they even knew on on Bravo have said Raquel? I didn't know you had it in you. More than one person. Andy and Ariana have both said that on the show on Watch What Happens Live, and then on the show this week. So I'm gonna say it too, Raquel. I genuinely did not know you had it in you, but I bet that this is the Rachel in you. I bet that that's it's Rachel causing it. Uh-huh. You know, I'm thinking about Rachel, it. Deep down. I'm thinking about it. And if you had asked me like a week ago, I actually do think it was in her. I yeah. do. Now, just like looking at this timeline, like just, now looking at it completely different, she's that bitch. She's that yeah. bitch. And we thought she was that uh-huh. bitch. And not in the way Ashley Darby says it right no. the the way ashley darby says it is you know i'm still that bitch like yeah no raquel is that bitch and i i'm gonna say it bitch. again raquel is a mean girl yapping chihuahua wrapped in bambi eyed bitches clothing i said that two weeks ago i said it on tiktok okay if you don't follow me on tiktok I'm sure. <gasps> but <laughs> point being I said, follower she's amazing <sighs> not as i mean tessa's are quite a bit better this is a really prolific no because we're talking about um, yours are like bravo uh, perfection and like literally i get my news from your tiktok that's how i find out <laughs> that's how i found out about ralph and drew that's how i mm-hmm. um found out about uh robin and juan and that's yeah. how i found out about tom the laundry and rachel so Rachel. Yeah, you know this is a couple that I would have expected to be caught at a laundromat, but laundromat before Juan takes <laughs> in. <laughs> it's wild for these Bravo celebrities. Oh my gosh! You know, if it's it's like a low key dream of mine to be a dra- Bravo celebrity, but oh I God, I, I can't take the bad times. Like when something goes bad in these Bravo celebrities' lives, like the way that everybody is like investigating the last nine years of their life, I can't take it because I've done some bad things in the last nine years. That I oh, but you know what? In. The things you've done would just add so much more interesting like arc to your story. I would I would watch the shit out of you being Thank on you so much. Thank Are you, so you much. kidding me? Thank you so much. Bravo you're can't so, afford me. You're Thank so you. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Yeah, me either. That's why they're not calling. <laughs> yeah, that's why. That's, that's, that's why I'm yeah. not on it. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah why. that's the only reason. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> so, um, oh my god. god. Oh yeah. Okay. So yeah, we get the the, the so, infamous Tom Tom sweatshirt, which yes. we get another thing of this week. Mm-hmm. Yes. So and mm-hmm. and see again, I I agreed with Raquel's response as to why she posted that picture with Tom in the I loved that response. Tom Tom. She was like, I didn't like the photo they were using, and I wanted to give them a new photo. Girl, I respect that. I respect that. I do. But and then also, it shows how calculated. That's exactly <laughs> what I was going to say. That's exactly what I was going to say. This bitch is calculated, and we have not seen it because of the Bambi eyes. She's you know smarter than we all think. She's been known what she, she knew what she was doing when she slid in the DMs of James Kennedy. Oh, yes, ma'am. She was a fan. This is her dream come true. And you know what's funny? And I've said before, you know, how I, I get there is a certain thing happening with her because she aged out of doing beauty pageants. 
and you know I used to do them, and mm -hmm. I competed in that same system. Mm -hmm. And it's interesting because I think what we're seeing, once you have decided, like when I decided I was not doing them anymore, there was a freedom uh, that came over me because social media was still pretty new, but I suddenly was not censoring myself so much. And I suddenly realized I wasn't like, oh, I don't have, I may not potentially be in a position of being like a role model with a crown and that's done. I think that's, she's always been this person, but she's always been considering that she wanted to win the crown. And so I think that's part of where this is coming from. And that's it's exactly just always it. been there. It's just like when Miley got out of Disney. You just want yeah. to spread your wings and, and create your own identity. I don't yes, know if this is the one for you, girl, Raquel. I don't know if this is the identity you want. Honestly, we do love a good villain, though. We do oh, yes. love a good villain. God, this girl is smarter than I ever, ever gave and her credit alarming. for. It's alarming. It's alarming because alarming. I'm like, I'm questioning my own discernment of character <laughs> like, how did uh, it is the bambi eyes and it was the mm -hmm. shaky voice that shaky voice is gone it's gone um, it's gone yeah. she's like you guys you guys bought that you guys thought <laughs> <laughs> okay great now i'm gonna really be mean bitch lock uh -huh. your fucking doors because i'm coming for your men whoa yep. You know, and it was almost like some, I know my friend Jesse and I were saying like we thought, or Jesse said, I can't take credit for the idea that maybe she got on like some sort of beta blockers and maybe that's part of where like she lost the nerves, but no, no, <laughs> that shaky voice was not real. <laughs> I just, uh. genius. I'm, so, I'm actually going to uh, have to keep thinking because I, I hated her and now I'm coming back around to respect again. It's, it's wild. Keep going. Let's see if it'll it's a roller coaster. And it's a it's roller, a roller coaster. coaster. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So then in December of 2022, we found out mm -hmm. that Dumois had actually received a few blinds and I'm going to read one of the exact blinds that was sent to Dumois. And she ended up saying she didn't post it because she wanted to keep it out of, uh, the world for respect of, for Rihanna. R oh, oh my God, you guys. Rihanna. Oh my God. Don't tell me Rihanna's involved. Um, she wanted to, she didn't want to post this out of respect for Ariana. So the blind said, a certain Bravo pageant queen is having an affair with one half of the bar owning duo who share the same name, but it's not who you think. They are hooking up behind the back of his longtime girlfriend and a very close source says they're in love. It may have started as an open relationship situation, but has turned into a full blown affair. Which they're in love. Yeah. They're in love, bro. They're in love. Oh my god, that hurt me even more. Uh -huh. That hurt me even more. Ariana girl. Ariana girl. I have been wanting you to be single for so long so I could slide in those DMs. Like I have the looper pen oh, ready and everything. But I did not want it to be like this. Oh girl. Well, I mean, listen, I have I have some good news that you probably already knew from her, what she ended up tweeting in January, which I didn't, I had seen some rumblings through like the blinds on Instagram, like that maybe Tom had been cheating. This was not w even remotely close to what we had been expecting. But Ariana in January of this year, which feels like years ago, had yeah. to tweet, we don't have an open relationship. I'm really not that cool. Thought that was obvious. And then she put out another tweet that said bisexual with like a equals slash through basically saying bisexual does not equal polyamorous. So, Ooh. hey girl, there's, you have a shot. And, <sighs> mm -hmm, yeah. And that tweet no longer exists because she de deactivated everything. Everything. I can't yeah. believe that. I did not believe that. I had to go to her accounts, obviously, to check because I am an avid follower. Oh, that yeah. made me sad. Oh, it makes me sad because mm -hmm. I have rooted for Ariana for so long. She carried her depression so openly, which was amazing because I was dealing with it at the same time. So to like mm. feel like we bonded and connected over it. Oh, you felt a kindred spirit in her. I, I That's the thing. Did. And Ariana, she. I, I like to listen to Carlos King because he's brilliant. And if y'all aren't listening to Carlos King's podcast, oh my God, what are you doing? Yeah. Um, he's yeah. he's brilliant. So I kind of have considered her and Tom 
at their, especially this season, their relationship to be what Carlos would refer to as the force multiplier. And I also, and force multiplier being that they kind of connect everyone together and they keep a fairly neutral stance on most everything. Tom Sandoval is incapable of completely doing that. So it tends to be more Ariana. And I feel that Ariana tends to, she's so, I've always felt that she was very authentic and very genuine. And she tends to tell the truth that the audience is thinking and that we mm -hmm. need someone on the show to say. And that's part of Definitely. why this makes so many people so mad because it's not like she's, Ariana hasn't really done anything shitty to anyone. She may have said one dumb thing. Never. Or, or there. In fact, when everyone was shitting on Raquel, she was the one that was like, give her a chance, you guys. She's the yep. James, you guys. That's our friends, you guys. Let's invite her, you guys. Which just makes this all the more sickening. Well, yeah, because um, <laughs> what makes – yeah, we're, I'm going to get to that then. Mm -hmm. So, okay. um, all right, we got our premiere, right, this year okay, February. Yeah. Again, February feels like <laughs> – I feel like we're in July of this year. Right? Because so much what happened. day is it? I don't even <laughs> – are we in March? Hold on. Yeah, yeah, we're in March. March? Oh it is only God. the 4th of March. <laughs> oh my God. Uh huh. That's so, a lot of drama yeah. for one year. Oh, I need, I need yeah. a vacation. But you just got back from vacation. I know. <laughs> I know. I need another. <laughs> and I want to go on it with Ariana. Please do. Oh my God. That would be amazing I... right now. I just need to go. I, I'm. I need to come to LA, and I need. We need to. I don't know what we need to do. We hit up Tom Tom, and some Ariana sure. shirts. Yeah, and I mean, I'd um, say Swark and Sandy's, but I'm, but I heard about the roaches. So <laughs> I don't know exactly. I oh, mean, no. I may actually know where everyone lives. So I mean, we could always just like send flowers or something. That's creepy. That's really creepy, Caitlin. Okay, move on. So <laughs> I love cre I love creepy moments. Um, I'll own them. Let's do it. Honestly, that's like okay. stalkery. So I'm just gonna move on from that. <gasps> <talk>. um <laughs> look at look at Haley Bieber. Stalking people works. You can get your oh you God, can get right? your um object of affection by stalking. I mean, look at Raquel. Mm. He's freaking <laughs> killing it right now. Okay, then I'm going to maybe I just need to stalk. Exactly. Uh, now I, I can't even remember how to say his name now. Regine Page. Am I, oh my uh, god! Yes, you do. Yeah, I don't know why he just looks like an asshole to me. He just looks like is. one of those guys that's so good looking, and he that's like it. knows how good looking he is. Mm -hmm. So he's like, "Fuck you, Bridgerton! I don't have to be on your season two, and I don't have to do anything anybody wants except take off my shirt on your Instagram." I mean, truly, like that. I think he's. It's like he's so good looking that if he's not an asshole, I'm. I'm gonna almost be disappointed. Does that even make sense? I mean, I'm you're not allowed to be know, that good looking and kind, are you? It's he's so good looking that I actually question my sexuality. Am I gay? I mean that that says something. That says something. Oh, he's beautiful. He, yeah. It, it doesn't like. Even, like, there was, like, an article that came out that scientifically, I guess, the ratio of his face, he's, like, one of the most beautiful men in the world. And I was, like, obviously. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. You will not hear any disputing from me. No. <clears throat> um. Mm, yes. Back. Mm. Okay. Now I'm turning red. Oh, that, that Sorry, man crush. Man crush over. Yeah. Let's go back to my uh, girl yeah. crush, Ariana. Yes. The pain she's going through. Honestly, I kind of want to manifest that for you. That would – I would love that. Thank you so um, much. Yes, okay. absolutely. I think that would be. Oh, I would love that pairing. Like, can you imagine? Like, you. I think we'd have fun together. Yeah, yeah, you would I think have fun. Have... Yeah, I know she's not your usual type, but she's that. not. But you know what? I'm open to it, and I just want to know what her what her sign is. Do we know what her sign is? Mm. You know what? When we're on the break, I'll find out. Okay, I'll find great. Out. I, wanna, I just want to know if we're compatible. You know what's funny? I from. <laughs> It's weird that I know all of this about you just from the social media, but you and I have known each other for ever, literally 13, 13, oh, 13 yeah. years. Yeah. Oh, we could have had a teenager by now. Cute. Um, oh my God. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my God. Um, that's scary. Oh, oh. I know I am too. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Because I was 21 when we met. I was 23. Yeah. Oh my god. Um, 
so yeah um i know that you and i are signs or it's really funny because they literally mirror each other i'm scorpio with my rising sagittarius and my moon's uh scorpio and i believe you're sagittarius and isn't your rising scorpio and then you're sag my sun is sag my moon is scorpio and then my rising is actually virgo which i don't know oh i, I believe, that. That. I I believe that. that i believe that you are very organized mm -hmm. and clean and i am orderly. i really am okay yeah i'm not i i hope it's the cute kind and not the annoying kind but no i have a friend who's a virgo who's very like it is so her home is so spotless and so organized and so perfect and she is sweet as she can be so i i haven't met a virgo i didn't like i hope ariana is a virgo matter of fact i hope he's like an aries i hope she's like a fire sign i wonder i'm gonna we're gonna look on the break yeah let's um, do it because also let's i have a problem with i have a slight problem because there's been like <laughs> a campaign against cancer men on bravo and my child he is a <gasps> He, uh, as of now, you gave birth to a, a cancer, cancer male with, child? with a rising Capricorn. <gasps> mm -hmm. <Game playing. laughs> he was very you know close what? to being a Leo. Oh my gosh, Leos are the best. Uh, you know what? But That's bitch, okay. I was not That's holding okay. that baby in longer. He, that, listen, <gasps> baby, you were coming out. I, you, you were going to be that. happy with being a cancer. I, I don't give that. a shit. I get that. I get that. <laughs> You know, cancers, okay? cancers are sensitive. Cancers are sensitive. Um, it's the Capricorn and Virgo. Mm -hmm. the Capricorn. My brother's a Capricorn, and they are intense. intense they're they're so... very um great with business. Oh well, he's gonna make you a lot of money, but he's gonna be a lot on your hands. Okay. Um, so you just need to be prepared for that. That's what my mom went and got her astro astro that word. Um, yeah, <laughs> her chart done. She got her chart done when she when she was pregnant with me, and the person was like, oh, oh, "It's gonna suck for you, but it's gonna, it'll, it'll be good." But yikes! <laughs> so yeah, that's it's almost maybe the same thing for you. But he, I mean, at least he's adorable, you know. Thank you, thank you. You know, um, yeah, uh, yeah, because the, the, <laughs> this campaign against the cancer man be men between Gabby Prescott on. Summer House, who would not give that beautiful six foot five model actor a chance? God, just because he was a cancer man. But then we find out that That's Tom wild. Sandoval and Jax Taylor are both cancers. <laughs> oh no! I was really about to say, oh, that's all. I would, I would still give a cancer man a chance. And then you said that, uh, and then you said that, Jax and Sandoval. Uh, there it's oh it's, no so i'm gonna have to work very, very you should have held it in you should have kept your legs closed longer first of all bitch if i had kept him in another week and a half that child was over eight and a half pounds and i pushed that eight and a half pounds <laughs> yeah i was i was eight and a half pounds too <laughs> my mom hates me she likes <laughs> hates me yeah. <laughs> so i'm so sorry about that yeah I'm they so gained a half pound that. a week at that stage so he would have been pushing nine and a half pounds if i had gone ahead and kept him in so you had a really like healthy baby like you fed him well like you had a good old-sized baby man that's a great in other size words, baby i gained 60 pounds when i got pregnant. i was like oh. i have been an actor for how many years and denying myself carbs so i was like donuts pb and j's give them all to me once the morning sickness it. subsided i was like give it all to me and then i was like oh shit now i He's out, and people are like, "Well, why, why, why are you still fat?" <laughs> oh, why do I do this to moms? Like, I literally just gave birth to new life. How about I'll look however I want? Oh I, my it, god! It's also like, like not fair that your body doesn't just like do something about it, though. Like, why? Can you just not like? I did all of this. Can can you do me a favor and just that? That was a sucking in right back up. Anyway, no one. I mean, it worked. You look amazing. Story, but... So, I mean, maybe, maybe can we do another one? Cause I actually have some questions, you know, I don't know nothing about it. I'm uh, yeah. <laughs> Good luck to me on having another baby. Anytime soon. I feel like a lot of women have questions, you know, regarding, you know, pregnancy and motherhood. So we should definitely talk about that. Yeah. Oh, listen, the way this is going, you're coming on more often. So <laughs> good luck. Oh. You're, you're stuck. Yes. Um, I passed the test. Oh, y'all, it should have been happening previously, but, um, 
I yeah. So, <laughs> um, okay. And you just got enough followers on TikTok, so we're doing lives. But find us we on are. TikTok lives. I find I finally hit a thousand followers. Congrats! Congrats! And y'all, now it's it, just gonna be she's take a social off media here. genius. I try. I study it, and it breaks my heart every day because every day I am reminded that I'm 36 and nobody wants to watch me take off. <laughs> Your it's TikToks cool. are cool. fantastic. Um, cool. Thank you so much. I need the validation. Tessa says she's 36, and yet she looks like she's like 27. It's such fucking bullshit. Thank you so much. Because it's some the of black. that black, yeah, it's the black. Yeah, that black does not crack. It's just not. So, it's not going anywhere. Please don't. So please don't crack on me. Oh my God. Watch the white part kick in when I'm like 40 and be like, "Bitch, here's some wrinkles." <laughs> you no. know what? I know how that feels. I know how that feels. Just. You're you're doing you're Botox. Doing I already got speed. Botox. I already started Botox, so we're good. You we're all good. you're do you can I just tell you guys she's saying I already started Botox at thirty six. I, I started Botox at twenty nine. <laughs> well I was poor. I haven't done it in a while. That was poor though. So I got so money was I. and I immediately put it into my face and yeah. now I'm poor again <laughs> because it well, went into my face. So, you know. When I, I get mean, money again, the buccal the what's it oh, the buccal. Do not thing, do it. Oh my God. It, it's, it's irreversible. Not, that is part of what keeps you looking useful. Oh, it's irre it's irreversible. Yes. Okay. It, Here's it, the it thing just, though. It's, it's you not... look like a skeleton when you get older. No, I have a chubby pumpkin face. It's That's it's not... it's for women like me. Women are injecting their cheeks to fill them to look just like yours. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna research this more. We'll see. Yeah. We'll see. I, I, I know part of why bones. you want that. I know your girl Leah yeah. Michelle absolutely had it done. I don't like it on her. I don't like it on her though. Because her face was already thin. Mine is chubby. No. And I want cheekbones. I just want cheekbones. Bitch, you have cheekbones. And they look fantastic. I want to be like pop, this. Pop the high no. No, because um put a little do do the contour and that's it. You don't oh god. No, because You're right. it, it will right. age. I just it need a good makeup you. artist. It will age you You're you right. look perfect. You look perfect. Thank you god, so much. You guys. You'll see, the you'll Hollywood. see on this video, y'all, you're going to be like, she's insane. Living in LA Hollywood does fuck with mentality. It fucks with it your head. It gets you. It yeah. gets you, man. Oh, I would, these, I. Mm -mm. These women are beautiful out here. And like it's naturally looking beautiful. Up. It's awful. And Thank they have like these. I love this show. I love this show. Yeah. It's just right. compliments all the time. Yeah. Anyway, I just get meow meows from my cats. Because those <laughs> are the only people who talk to me. I mean, if you listen hard enough for long enough, maybe they are complimenting you as well. Why do you think so many women get cats? I mean, you're right. Like, you're meow right. hot. Meow skinny. <laughs> this is taking a turn. <laughs> We're like... <laughs> People are like, I tur I tuned in for something, and now uh -huh. we're, like, talking about what the cats That's usually saying. how my conversations go. Actually, that's how a lot of my conversations, they it's always okay. end up about mm -hmm. my cats, and that's why I'm single. <laughs> and that's why I'm going to stay single. You're not going to stay single. We're manifesting some shit for you. Because it. here we are, friends. March 1st. Okay. Days ago. Four days ago. Okay, what happened? How? y'all so i i'm gonna first talk about we're okay i'm gonna get through to the watch what happens live part and then we're gonna take a break and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna finish up all, the <laughs> timeline and everything so okay. we're gonna start with this so march 1st uh sandoval is actually doing an interview during that day he's in los angeles and he is asked by page six for what the secret is behind the most stable relationship in Vanderpump Rules history. On that day, he says, uh, dude, you know, we definitely have our ups and downs for sure, man. I, I think we've been really good about respecting each other and having each other's backs in, in a reasonable way. Same night, okay? Sheena. Oh, Uh huh. Sheena and Rachel Rocky, <clears throat> they are in New York City doing Watch What Happens Live for the immediate post Vanderpump Rules episode. All seems well with them. Raquel even gives Andy a, the same Tom Tom sweatshirt that she has, the bedazzled one. Uh huh. And then when Andy asks which Tom was hotter, they both said Sandoval. 
So here is where we are going to get into some alleged territory because I am having to piece together what multiple gossip accounts are saying. Um, and that's pretty much where we're going here. Apparently, later in that night, while still in New York, Raquel ends up spilling to Sheena about the affair she is having with Tom Sandoval. And allegedly, Sheena was so angry she got physical with Raquel to the point that oh. some source, yes, well, she shoe, were saying that Sheena's friends were concerned Raquel would try to press charges against Sheena. Now, oh. I, I'm going to tell y'all, I thought something was odd on Thursday when Sheena posted a bunch of photos from the Watch What Happens Live taping, and Raquel is not in any of them. She had cropped her out of all of them. You can go back and look, and it's, and I thought, hmm, I know Sheena's vain, but damn, you know. She said nothing about Raquel in the post, and she said, this is probably, you know, it's probably my favorite look of all time. I think I'm going to go liner. And I thought, hmm, that's a little odd. Like, Sheena really, like, maybe it was just, like, her good, great photos of her. I would because not have thought anything with it being Sheena. I would not have thought anything. But, oh, my God, Sheena. Sheena. Honestly, Sheena, you're a good friend. You're a good friend, Sheena, because Sheena and Ariana have had each other's back yes, ma'am. from day one. Mm-hmm. Out of everyone, they have been the best friends that nobody really notices that much because they don't be having drama like that. That's they so are true. just there for each other. And I love that because Sheena and Raquel were extremely close, extremely close. So for Raquel to be like, hey, close friend, I'm going to tell you a secret. And then Sheena to throw hands yeah get physical but what's funny is you know because raquel's so tall and sheena's so tiny like she was definitely doing an up punch (laughs) i know (laughs) that was bold of her that was bold of her because raquel could have easily been like i mean or maybe sheena like pulled i don't know like a football move and went just directly for the waist i don't that that's probably what would have been the wisest way to do it it was the hair oh no her hair is pretty short very short Sheena had long hair, so it would have been, yeah. Um, and so this, and then I, I'm just going to, okay, first I'm going to cover, I, I'm just going to go ahead and go into some of this. Or, you know what? It, I, I'm going to, we're, we're going to take a very short break because y'all, there's more. Okay. okay. There's so much more. So oh, stay oh, with us. We're break. going to be right back. And um, it gets, it just keeps going and getting juicier. So hold, please be right back. Okay, besties, we are back. Um, Tessa and I were just chit-chatting for like, oh, you know, 20 minutes on that break. <laughs> so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to um, get us back on track here. Most of that is my fault. Um, Definitely. Okay. <laughs> Definitely my fault always. Um, all right, so here we are. We just talked about how apparently, not apparently, I get apparently and allegedly mixed up a little. <laughs> allegedly that Sheena was maybe throwing some up punches at Raquel Mm. don't know that it's certain but we do know that on Thursday Sheena unfollowed Raquel now this is again we're gonna stay back on the same night Wednesday the first cameras were rolling in LA now this is what's peculiar to me I'm gonna go ahead and say that um I have been again it's all alleged and some rumblings of uh seeing some rumblings of Maybe production had an idea that this was happening. Why are cameras still rolling right now? That's a little suspect, no? Mm. Um, mm -hmm. Now, they were in Los Angeles. Tom Sandoval and the most extras were having another show in L.A., and that's where Ariana is because Ariana is the ultimate girlfriend Mm -hmm. who is supporting her fuckhead boyfriend, okay? Now, this is, again, where this all gets a little murky, and this is where I'm also trying to piece together. I have a friend who knows someone who knows Sandoval well. I'm just going to put it this way, and she and I might have been um, kind of going back and forth about what maybe transpired and how this actually came about because this seems a little too perfect of a way for this to happen. So page six said that Tom's phone, Tom Sandoval's phone slipped out of his pocket on stage or before he went on stage and Ariana got it, grabbed it and saw that there were some extremely explicit sex 
between Raquel and Tom Sandoval. And I'm going to go ahead, like, again, you got the babies in the car, tell them to plug their ears and la, 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 la. Raquel was uh, touching herself in these videos oh, that she no. was sending to Tom Sandoval. Oh, my gosh. The goal, <laughs> once again. It's bad. It's the so audacity bad. of these two. Now, um, Ariana then scrolled up and saw there was an extensive history mm, of messages girl. between these two. Months. And, For months. Uh -huh, and I'm going to guess she did a, um, looked at Tom and did a, you fucker. No. And Tom cuts the, sh the show short and they leave together. Oh, shit. This is all Wednesday. Damn. Nah. So, um, um, late Thursday or roughly Friday, Bravo and Cocktails is teasing that something is coming, apparently, and they only posted the blinds that they were receiving to their subscribers of their website. I, I love you, B and Amanda. I'm not subscribed. Maybe I'll, I'll join. Huh? I don't know. We'll get, we'll, we'll talk about that another time. But, um, that already was kind of being thrown out there. So, um, Friday afternoon, <laughs> I had just posted <laughs> or released, I should say the most recent episode that I did with Alex Cross covering Real Housewives of New Jersey. And so I didn't get a chance to even post the clips of us and promote that episode because it was quite literally 30 minutes later. I I'm just going to go ahead and tell you, I'm in the middle of a workout and <laughs> I mean, what else do you do but like scroll your phone mm -hmm. <laughs> between sets. during the workout? And I was like, yeah. And I was like, what the fuck? That workout like did not happen. <gasps> I was sitting there. I, I within five minutes of seeing this, I went ahead and I was like, no way, this is true. I go, I get immediately on uh, TMZ their website, and it is they hadn't even posted it through social media yet. And I was like, holy fucking shit! So I post the story to my stories, and I'm like, um, oh my god. Immediately, I see that James Kennedy shared the TMZ story to his Instagram feed. Now, he put no caption, and this is all uh, the timeline of this doesn't really Same matter thing. because it all just starts, it's like unfolding, right? So, James Kennedy shares the TMZ story I love James to for that. his Instagram feed. Oh my God, he got real messy. No <laughs> caption, but he puts in the comments, I hope you all feel as sick as I do. This explains everything. That's the Eliza Doolittle version of a James Kennedy accent. Excuse me. I loved it. It was amazing. <laughs> you know, I'm doing again. So Danny Pellegrino, who he tends to stay pretty neutral on a lot of mm -hmm. things. He's also very good friends with Tom Sandoval and Ariana and even helped with like writing their book from what I recall. He puts a comment with the taking the trash out emoji. Then I'm going to, and you brought this up earlier in the episode. I'm going to just go ahead and read verbatim what Ariana's brother, Jeremy Maddox, and if you don't recall, Jeremy was on uh, the same season that Billy Lee was on. He was a busser at Sir. He was not featured heavily, but I mean, sweet guy, took Super Billy Lee Super cute, out. looks like, just like Ariana. Yes, Twinsies. like a bearded, long, yeah. long ponytail version of her. Yes. So he comments on James's <laughs> post and he says, it's funny to watch people's social climb and be so fake that they're willing to shit on people who are supposed to be their quote-unquote best friend. A term that gets thrown around very often here. All just to come up or have some sort of storyline. The lifestyles and the lifestyles of this group and this group is be, I'm sorry, this lifestyle Bear with me, y'all. I have typos. This lifestyle and this group is beyond toxic, and I wouldn't recommend it to anyone. All just for clout from a corny-ass network like Bravo TV. <laughs> Tom's a tryhard having a midlife crisis with a cringy band, and Raquel has faked her way to the top and trying to make something of her life, <laughs> willing to step on whoever Damn. to get there, starting with James. Sell-out type lame shit. Let's all remember that Raquel was a fan of the show before all this. Does anyone pay attention? Dragged. Dragged all the way to hell. God damn. For Phil. And then Katie Maloney posts to her story with literally just like two clown emojis. <sighs> Lala. Oh my god. Ooh. Now I'm going to tell you someone I do not want to piss off is Lala. Mm -mm, no ma'am, I 
do not. She starts going in in her Instagram stories and she's like getting her hair highlighted, has foils in her hair at her house. She dis she pulled a Kylie Jenner is what she did. She discounted Iconic. the Bambi eyed bitch eye palette with everything must go. She screen records that she's deleting Instagram photos with Raquel. She tells everyone on her Instagram story while she's getting her hair highlighted to chant Ariana, Ariana at the uh, Tom and the Most Extra show that he is still continuing to go on. She tags Raquel in a story that shows a headline where Raquel says that she doesn't have the energy for Lala and Lala puts under it, you better get some energy for me because you're going to need Oof. it. And I mean, it just goes Oof. Lala, on. come for her. <laughs> I can't wait to watch this. I mean, Lala's the reunion. Revenge, like, is just so sweet. The wrath of Lala, it's honestly, it turns me on like no other. I've been waiting for this Lala it, to come through, come back. She scares the shit out of me, but I love, I love it. it. I've been wanting this. Lala. Then Kristen Doty. Oh yes, Kristen Doty enters, and so she go posts to her story that people are, you know, saying to her that oh, she must be so happy because of how Tom, you know, he did cheat on her with Ariana by allegedly just making out mm -hmm. with her at a pool in Vegas. And Kristen says, no, absolutely not. I adore Ariana and I am team Ariana 365-8, which, you know, all day, every day. We'll just put it that way. And she puts at the bottom in small text that um, karma is coming for Raquel and she thinks Raquel should just go home. And later, Kristen posts a story again with Ariana saying, I'm here. This is in real time. And they give each other a kiss on the lips and they hug and they just basically go on about how everyone was at ariana's house re rallying around her <laughs> i'm just now i'm just like if you were thinking about it james broke up i mean james and lala I'm, james and raquel broke up james got a new bae right. he's bringing her on the show okay nobody correct schwartz don't want to make out with raquel or at least he did on the show he's crying on dates with peter like her contract was running out it was coming to an end because there was no purpose for her to be on the show like that anymore there really wasn't like i could see this season because we want to see how the breakup you know unfolded but after that it was like we don't really need her anymore and now i never want to not have her around because if this is what she's going to be slipping in our laps she's going to be playing like this she's secured her bag for the next I don't know how many seasons she is the villain that I did not realize that this show needed and that's all I'm gonna say about that who would have thought who would have thought who would have thought who would have thought this girl's um, a genius she's an evil sick genius and she's a sick fuck but she's I don't want to keep watching her it's it feels so wrong but I'm absolutely going to watch. Are you fucking kidding me? I just, I want to, I need to know what happens next. I need to see what she's going to do at this point. She's very unpredictable to me. It's like a, a cat that you just rescued from a back alley. Like, Ugh, are you going to scratch me? Are you going to try and fuck my other cats? Like, Ugh, you know? <laughs> or are you going to paw and cuddle me? That's what she's going to act like because she's the equivalent of cotton candy. Or is she? Oh or is she poisonous cotton candy? cotton candy that gives you the shits cotton candy melts in your mouth because uh she said on watch what happens live i thought this was very pointed how james was like andy was like this is one of the most i've asked so many embarrassing questions but this is one of the more embarrassing ones where he says james said he was going to start telling everyone that you don't suck d and raquel said oh, yeah i have something to say to that i just don't suck james kennedy's dick This is all iconic. Like, I just want a moment of silence for Bravo for bringing this mess to us because I don't know what I would do without it. Because everything that you just said, I can't believe happened. And the fact that he even repeated that on this week's episode, he was like, Well, how about I tell people that you don't suck D? Honestly, that made me respect the girl a little bit more because I'm like, Yeah, don't. James, he didn't deserve it. He never did. Um, God damn it, every time I want to hate her, I'm given a reason to root for her again. I'm just, it's mixed emotion. I don't know how to feel. I don't know how to feel well, about I'm this. I'm going to give you one more, 
Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and go ahead. tell you here's a reason not to root for her because yeah. she and Tom Sandoval allegedly would be banging while Ariana was asleep <gasps> in the house. No, no, yeah. no, 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 yeah. no, 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 Raquel, Thomas, no, mm. I, mm. oh my God, how are they still living? If this, if I Why was don't we Ariana, by their Christian names, Thomas and Rachel. Thomas and Rachel. That is despicable. Basic as it fucking gets. Oh my god. Oh my god. And the fact that like this just happened like a few days ago, so like Ariana's finding all this out at the same time that we're finding all this out. Like, did that night when they, he cut the, his show short and they went home together, did he say that night, "I'm in love with her and I want to be with her"? Like, I just, like, can't, like, I can't get over it. Mm. Yeah. For her. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. So, uh, he goes ahead and he, oh, and I forgot that, well, no, this will go together. He goes ahead and decides to continue on with his Tom and the Most Extras um, show in Anaheim. And um, James goes on his Instagram story and says, Hey, everybody, make sure you really roll up your tomatoes. Yeah, he said it that way. I'm not even exaggerating. Make sure they're extra juicy when you hurl them at Tom Sandoval when you go to his show in Anaheim. Make sure they're extra juicy tomatoes. Okay? So he went ahead and had his show last night. And he was caught being, he was being photographed uh, as there were also production vans at their house with, I mean, probably... 10 at least suitcases leaving their house like it so a friend that I had been discussing this with told me that it, it was actually a lot of it him packing up his own belongings I also saw that it was him packing up merch to sell at the uh show and then at this show there are videos going around first the video go is going around of a girl that's there and she's chanting cheater cheater and then she screams out Ariana and he goes we love her okay so then there's another video that was last I saw circulating on Twitter of a girl yelling same exact same moment and she goes where's Raquel and that's when he says we love her I believe he was responding to the Ariana comment agreed yeah agreed agreed I too I too believe it was to the Ariana comment uh, comment because the way he said we love her was just so awkward it was so awkward in the way that you say oh, i'm gonna love my ex forever sure mm, it would and apparently he also said do you know how it feels to be the most hated man in america first of all no one cares that much about you outside Tom. of the it's bravo world us. nobody you're the and most Chris extra Tegan nobody and... knows yeah <laughs> okay okay Tom. okay Tom. <laughs> okay <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, Sandoval's being, we're gonna, sorry, yeah. I'm making note, I'm holding for a giant ass plane. Fucking asshole. <laughs> Some crop dusting out there. Um, so then, uh, I guess Tom Sandoval's been canceling interviews, like, with his sponsor, HydroxyCut, and, um, we now know LVP, Ms. Vanderpump herself, is going to be going on Watch What Happens Live for the first time in years I'm this Wednesday. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Is it going to be a solo interview, do you think? Or, or do you no think idea. there'll be a guest? Oh, if they have a guest, I want it to be Lala. Oh, oh my gosh, yes. Or Katie. I'll take Katie, too, honestly. Mm-hmm. No, but Lala. I'm not saying a lot. No, but Lala. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, I um, can't wait. You know, and Andy's been kind of, like, tweeting stuff saying, like, oh, how many parts are too many for a Vanderpump Rules reunion? I, I'm going to be shocked if Raquel shows up. Because also, I guess there was a blind from Dumois saying um, that Raquel's family is wanting her to stop and come home and be done. But she is too fame hungry at this point. Yeah. Yeah, that's why he's definitely showing up to the reunion. This is her time to shine. She's not missing that. She's going to be there with all her bells on. She is going to be ready to play. Ready to play. She knows. She knows the bet that she made it. Okay? And she's ready to lay in that shit. She's ready to lay in it. She's going to look I mean, good. And selfie ready. When she does. 
I mean, can you imagine? I'm just so, okay. So I just want to touch on a few things about this episode. Literally like three. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. How well did that moment between Allie and Raquel sitting outside of the Canyon club talking about how Lala and James banged while, you know, it was the beginning of their respective relationships. And <laughs> Raquel's just, Oh God, it hurts to even say all of it out loud. She's like, yeah, you know, like it just really showed that I couldn't trust him basically. And <sighs> yeah, that was actually a full circle moment. Um, for uh -huh. me, just because I'm like, Raquel, do you remember at Pride when you had that glitter li little thing on the side of your face and that little ponytail, and they were telling you about what James has done with some girls, um, mm -hmm. just like recently, and you were like, I don't care, I believe him, I believe him, and now you want to be the girl sitting here telling James's girlfriend what James has done, knowing that, that she's not going to so care, true. because you didn't care when they told you, and they told that you. That is such a good point. That is such a good Full point. Circle. Full circle. So. Because, listen, Allie's getting her own ass on a reality TV show. And you know she wanted and... that, too. She was a fan, too. Okay. She's the exact demographic of who watches Vanderpump Rules. Okay. I mean, James met her at the Canyon Club in Agora Hills. Because that place is real special to them. Whoa, so whoa. special they got in such a huge fight. It's a really, yeah, it's a really weird, it's a really weird place. It's, it's very special. I'm like, who hangs out in the Gore Hills? But okay, okay, okay. Sure. Right, yeah. Like, you're not even in Calabasas yet. <laughs> it's just a stepping stone to Kardashian mm. country. Mm. Um, and at the same venue, when Raquel's asked Schwartz to make out, and like, you know, he first checks, like, oh, are they still filming? Oh, this feels like a trap. Yeah, Schwartz, it's a trap for you because you probably know. She's already fucking your bestie, Sand Devil. Yeah, that's wild. That's wild. I'm like, it, okay, in the timeline at that moment, do, like, was her and Tom a thing? This Sand Devil, was Sand Devil a thing at the time that he's like, George, do you want to make out? Supposedly. No way. No way. I can't believe that. I can't believe that. Because what does Sam Devil think about the girl he's cheating with cheating on him? With his ain't best that, friend. Ain't, ain't that the 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 shit of it all? Um well, you know. Well. And, well. Uh-huh. 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 And then um when Raquel is saying to Katie and Ariana when they're inviting her to this Vegas trip. Yeah. Um, and that was eventually, an uncomfortable you know, scene to watch. Oh, so uncomfortable because the look on Raquel's face. I'm sorry, not Ra Well, yeah, that too. When Katie and Ariana and her are talking about how, like, they felt like Sheena was pushing it and it's not like anything happened. And you see Raquel's face like, oh, shit, yeah, actually something did happen. And then Raquel says, well, I did ask Schwartz if he wanted to make out, um, but nothing happened. And Ariana says to Raquel, Raquel, I didn't know you had it in you. I, we're both speechless, and y'all know now from listening to us, there's not a lot of speechless moments. Just to have Raquel sitting across from Ariana and Katie in that scene, and just Ariana was just so sweet to Raquel, the whole scene. <sighs> Very kind, yeah. And then, that and then like... Raquel is like, oh, and by the way, Katie, I asked your ex-husband, not even ex husband yet um if you want to make out with me oh that's cool and then katie starts crying she's crying and she's like thank you for telling thing. me she said thank you for telling me and raquel must feel horrible <laughs> because these girls are giving her the benefit of the doubt no matter what they're still being nice to her and what does she do come mm. for their men she came for their men 
Listen, I, maybe Why? I'm just too psychotic. Why? I would have literally looked at Raquel and I would have been like, so which part of you would you like me to stab? Arm? Eye? Throat? Boob? Where do you want me to stab yeah, you at this point? Yeah, for sure. Oh, man, I wish I could have seen the altercation between Raquel and Sheena. Because I feel like Sheena's the only one who got to do what we all wanted to do. And I hope she got her good. You know? Probably, yeah. Sometimes we just need to be punched in the face. Sometimes it's just got to be punched, you know? And it's what it is. So, I've needed to be punched and, before. Uh, I, I mean, you know? no, I, you know, I know you, so I don't feel like you deserve it. Raquel needs, she needs a good, like, slap. We'll, we'll say that. We'll say, we'll, we'll say she, she needs No, a because good, if, like, it's Sheena's, if it's Sheena's fist, it, it needs to be a closed fist. Because it's already small, you know what I mean? And mm-hmm. and Raquel's tall, so it's like, it's not like I'm doing yeah, nothing. It's going to be, like, on her chin. <laughs> No, for what she that's, did. That's actually true. For what her cows did. Ariana always had your back. She always had your back. Always. They went and su- she went and supported you at your fucking pageant. Yeah. I don't even. I don't condone violence. I don't condone like violence. But no, but recall. I don't, girl. Girl, in the in the bed in the room next to Ariana. Yeah. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You gotta get your ass beat. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That is some ass beat worthy shit. Yeah, yeah. That's I'm that like, is so in conniving. The room next to her. Yeah, yeah. I'm Thomas. pissed at those dogs for not barking and alerting Ariana. Those dogs are complicit as well, if you ask me. Also, what kind of ass sex are they having? If it's so quiet, Ariana could, didn't even like wake up. I was literally, you know. Like, what are they doing? It's probably so basic and vanilla. And you don't know, like, whose nail hands are whose because they're both polished. You know? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And whose eyeliner is on your cheek? Is it Tom's or your own? Oh, I'm not liking imagining this. I don't like the vision. And whose extension is stuck to the pillow? Is it Raquel's or Tom's? No. No, and they both have like the same length hair. It's like no, and they yeah. could wear like the same pants. No, I don't like it. Like, is it glitter from Raquel's eyes or from Tom's? It's. You know what? I don't. Mm-hmm. You know what? Whatever happens with them, Ariana, I am here for you, and I think mm. when you're ready, when you're ready, girl, the next person you need to be with needs to be a woman. Because I'm just it saying, be you have not been loved until you've been loved by a woman specifically that woman mm-hmm. yeah the woman sitting across from me right now you know they I say would never peter, do this to you yeah peter's the shoulder to cry on listen tessa i got some things to cry on too <laughs> so and they're a lot softer than Peter's. oh shoulders. and by the way i did look up ariana's sign and her birthday is june 24th um was that right let me check um once more june 24th 1985 so she's a year older than me which i like um but she's a cancer no she's a cancer so we can be great friends but I, it, that's I what we were supposed to do during the break yeah i looked it up Shit. she's a cancer so i probably will never be nothing long lasting but little couple little little good times here and there it's yeah, happened i mean you don't want to hold out for you're, it you're Listen, like, it doesn't have to be long-lasting. Fun things don't always last forever. And that's okay. You get it. You get it. Yeah. 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 Okay. So, Ariana, you know where to find Tessa. She, I mean, she's she's your favorite ex-girlfriend. And you know what? She could be your favorite ex-girlfriend. I could be. I could be your favorite ex-girlfriend. Just give me a chance. You you may have been manifesting this, this this whole time. I know, but I feel bad because I didn't want it to turn out like this for her. You know, I wanted no. her to be single, but not like this. No, it should have been on her own volition. I mean, this yeah, is I really gotta, technically, but. I just got to go and think about this. I got to think about yeah. the timeline. I got to go think about how I feel about Raquel. It's just like, I was it's so in it. Like, these are my friends, you know? Mm-hmm. And this is, it feels mm-hmm. like this is my friend circle. That this is happening, too. It is. We've grown up with them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nine years. Legit. That's a long time. And the show's been on for 10. So. Wild. Wild. We are old. <laughs> we are oh my God, no. I can't go down that road. 
can't go down that road. Like it started about a show about like cool kids in their early twenties, and now they're all in their mid thirties with babies. Because yeah, we're old. cool kids with statement necklaces. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Well, but friends, at least the drama still keeps coming. They they keep giving, they keep yes. giving it to us. Yes. Well, friends, I, I you know we had to have this emergent podcast, and I'm absolutely going to have Tessa back on very soon Yay! because. We, I had so much fun doing this with you. Thank you so much for joining. And again, thank you for having me. I, yes, I have plugged it plenty of times, but still she is at your favorite ex GF, your favorite ex-girlfriend on TikTok, on Instagram. She is also, who is Tessa Scott? Am I saying the correct? Tessa Evelyn Scott, but you know what? You'll find it. Put it in, type it in. You'll find it. You'll find it. Who is Tessa Evelyn Scott? on tiktok and on instagram so go follow her um you're gonna be hearing more from her obviously um Thanks. yes this and thank you so, so much fun. for joining all right my friends um until the next bravo crisis <laughs> we'll see you oh, soon. Gosh. see you soon bye, bye.